you see all these things here that are kind of unusual because it grew out of out of uh, my experiences here at Stanford, that, as I just explained to you. But um, also physically, these are paintings that you're looking at here are from a poem. Um, there are Manley Hopkins, a British Jesuit priest, in the 19th century wrote an incredible poem on the window, which is about a falcon, the flight of a falcon, which is a metaphor for something else. Yeah. Uh, well, it came about because I uh, used to, uh, and my wife used to walk the hills and uh, for exercise, and take our dogs up there. And there we became, I became engaged with the birds because the birds were, they were flying, especially raptors. They were way up there and soar and look down on this earth. And they come down to the earth just only when they need to. They have to come and get a meal or a snake or a lizard or something. And then, then they're back up there again. Or if they're resting, they're on a high tower or some sort. So I, I kept looking at those birds and wishing that I could fly like they could. And uh, so uh, that went on for quite a while. And then I started to paint birds. And I did a whole series of small little paintings of, of these kestrels. They're sparrows. And, um, and the more I did that, the more walking that my wife and I did, the more I kept thinking about the detached nature of the bird from, from the activity of the, gr the ground, so to speak, the life um, um, you know, that physically exists here at Stanford, which is very busy, and given the road, given the nature of the institution growing and expanding. And those are not undesirable, they're just facts of life that the, this university in large, but it, it, it's difficult to deal with that kind of growth when you came here, as we did in 64, and it was very quiet and, and small. And uh, now, or then, say, when I started these paintings, it was becoming very, very busy and active and um, more aggressive than it was ever. So I started thinking, well, if I can't really literally fly like those birds in the sky, I can, I can detach myself by painting, painting, painting wings, or painting, painting birds, so to speak. Well, birds are kind of limited in a sense, not that they're, they, they are personally limited, but they, um, you don't know if, I'm, if I paint a picture of a robin, then I might paint a picture of a cardinal. Or a picture. No, that, that, that isn't what I want. I, I, what I wanted to do was to take from the birds the sensation of being able to soar and to go up and you know to, to fly at an altitude that is critical and and, uh, and detached. And so, if I can't do that, then I can do it in painting. So I started drawing from those, those birds and became involved in painting just large wings so that, you know, like the idea is that these wings are the very wings that would me, allow me to fly if I painted it well enough that people could actually engage the wing and, in their and their mind, yes, let their mind fly. <laughs> 